brilliant. Well done, Megan. There is a heron, a grey heron. Well done, Zumi. And what it's doing, of course, is fishing or frogging. It looks not unlike Taylor McCurdy did the other day when she was out there uh, trying to catch frogs with Tristan and I. In fact, it looks very stealthy, just like Taylor, actually. Standing very, very, very still. Isn't that amazing? And they have the most astonishing reaction time. They also have very sensitive beaks that allow them to feel any movement below the beak. So they will feel things with their feet now. If there's any movement against the bird's feet, the heron will predict where that movement's going to end up. Stabbed out, there we go. Look at that, got a tilapia. Brilliant. I'm assuming it's a tilapia. It could have been a very small catfish having a little drink now. That's fantastic. Beautiful framing from the Zumi. This is magnificent. And now he's just giving himself a bit of a beak clap there. You saw that? Yes, he's clapping for himself because, of course, a heron is unable to clap with its wings.